turns out I haven't been uh, recording. I uh, came in to Salt Lake last night. Ryan's flying in this morning, so I gotta go pick him up right now. He just landed at the airport. We're all loaded up. And uh, yeah, we're ready for a, ready for a good six days down here. Hopefully, um, you know, hopefully get into some good sheds, but yeah, we'll check back in at the airport. Just secure, leaving the airport. Let's go. Freaking finally, he's here. Took him long enough. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh my God, he's he's mine! Hey. Oh my God, he's mine! Hello, buddy, how we doing, buddy? Hey, up in, let's go. Here we go. It snowed for some reason. You excited? Yeah. Wasn't in the forecast, but we're here, so we gotta go do it. Let's go get some browns. One in Utah, let's get it. Well, all I can say is it's gonna be tough to find one in here with all the snow. But I just saw a shed bull, and with a shed bull and a raghorn, and Dan just called me. He just saw two shed bulls, and so yeah, we're gonna. I mean, just take it slow, and we pretty much have to step on them in here anyway. We're gonna get after it. Hopefully those guys are getting on something soon, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good sign. Great reason to uh, keep hiking, even in this stuff. My first day out hiking in Utah. <clears throat> Got a bunch of snow, as you can see. I'm just backtracking bowls. I got my first brown of the year. I'm right, right next to this bed. I'm on the board. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's a good bull. Not a monster, but. Whew. Yes. Yeah. It's crazy. We're only a couple hours into our first hike of the year. Yeah. Already shed. He's not all that big. Great start. Pretty good base. I still haven't had any luck. I'm carrying Dan's shed for him because uh, his packs got switched around, so he didn't have his good backpack, but. Uh, yeah, I, uh, it's been slow. You know, we, we've seen three shed bowls. I kind of drop out of these hills for right now. And just see if I can find something down in the flats, maybe where they go at night. I don't know. Not having luck in here, though, so I'm going to switch my strategy. All right, well, I'm just taking a low loop and spotted a brownie, baby. Check this out. It's not that far away. All right, so we're right see that right there tines spotted it naked eye and put up the binos to verify sure enough it's a brown elk shed we gotta hurry because my phone's almost dead but it doesn't look like a monster but it's a brown and that's what we're here for oh maybe it's bigger than i thought maybe it's bigger than i thought Woo -hoo! yes it's all buried you can barely see it. Very cool. Let me take some pictures and pull them out. Looks like a bigger shed than I thought. Heck yes. All right. Well, my phone's going to die, so I'm going to pull this out real fast and we'll get you a better look at it in a bit. Look at that. Oh, that's the Max of Dan's. Heck yes. It's just a broken one. Whale tail five. Woo! Look at that. Very nice. Got it matched up. What I'm talking about. Well, made it back to the old wheeler and pickup, and 
Dan's got the score. Next game match them up. Pretty nice bowl. How's that first day? Yeah, we got here about one today. Did about, I don't know, six, six, ten miles. Peace, yeah. yeah, peace, so. Uh, three shed bowls. Intro here. Um, we are in a different spot today. Had a lot of snow predicted. It's supposed to hit here tomorrow, so we weren't going to be able to hit it any other day than today. So hopefully they're getting into something. Shouldn't take too long today before we get into some brown. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to find some stuff today. It's going to be fun. Day two here in Utah. Uh, I've seen six shed out bulls. I got some videos of those. And man, I don't know. Whoever was in here before us must have hated it because we can't find any ground. But I was just walking through the cedars here and got my first shed of the trip. Looks like a nice six point. Yeah, good young bull. It's got a little devil kicker on the front, so heck yeah. A uh, phone thing, but oh yeah. Last year's hard white, nice and brown on the back side, but we'll take her. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna get made fun of for this one, but I'm sitting here strapping this shed on, not even paying attention. I just looked back at the other videos. The other side is laying right there. It's broken. Didn't even pay any attention to it. It's only five five feet away. Here's this other side. Busted off, but. That is nuts. Oh man. Just got to show you how easy these things can hide. Let's go. First Utah Brown. I just glassed it up. I was walking through the cedars here. I just found these three whites. We saw some bulls in here earlier that were shed out. Here it is, walking up on it. Looks like a freaking tank. Holy, look at the dagger on that thing. Wow. Just still looks like a young bull, younger, but dagger. I mean, nine, 18 inch dagger. Let's go. On the board with the Utah Brown. Freaking stoked. We'll get some pictures for this thing up now. Freaking stoked. What it's all about right here. Let's go. All right, we've got the pack loaded up. Let's go find his match. And a uh, really slow day today. Seen a few shed bulls. Already about seven miles in and nothing. Ryan's been doing good. Gabe's been getting skunked, but we got a white, so it's better than nothing. Nice easy one. Found that little open. It's a decent white five. Not bad at all. It's a pretty good five. Your shed. Slipping around trying to find the match and on this broken ground. It's always sad when they break. I mean, this thing just dropped this morning. Broken right at the old third. Would have been a young bull, but love to see the rest of them. But broken's what we got. You know, some days are just your day. I've just graded literally every part of these cedars and stumble upon another white. Just a rag five. Yep. Just a rag five. That's six for the morning now. So it's about noon now. I think we're going to rendezvous here soon. I think this was the only spot I hadn't walked yet and there was a shed laying in it. So.
Well, I've been busting. Ah, Murphy picked me up on the four-wheeler. I came over to where they were. They were finding everything. Dan and I are gonna hit this front. Ryan's gonna go up higher. Finally, I'm not skunked, but it's just a deer here. But it's a shed, and that makes me happy. Ugh, because my eyes are working, and it's 82 years old. But we're on the board with something. We're in good elk sign. We know there were six shed bulls down here, so hopefully we'll get into a brown before I know it. So I made it back and we'll show you what we got. Five point, I think it's chalk. Another five point hard white. The brown broken one, the big brown, the big dagger one. And then the hard white set. Not bad, it's about one o'clock now, so. That's the best hike I've ever had in Utah. Usually you find one or two sheds. We just, you know, shed hunt areas that are populated, but I crushed it this morning. So hopefully we can keep it up this afternoon and the rest of the days. Dave and Dan might be really mad at me, but so I kind of moved spots. I came up higher. I just kind of beaten everywhere there. And look what I just came upon. Freaking big six point. Another big dagger on that thing. Heck yeah. It's another big bull. Nice. Old big old timer. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty chalky. It might be last year. Kind of been baking in the sun, but yeah. Get a. I don't know. Keep it down low. So, that's what we got today. That's what you got today, plus Danny's. Minus one. Minus Danny. one. Jeez, I got my ass. Nice brown, nice white. That one's Danny's. Gabe? Try again tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> no, There's... wait, no, I got one in here. Oh no, oh yeah. We're going there. Those are the yeah. ones from yesterday. Yep. There's a spike. It's a monster. All right, it's day three. We split up again. I've got the wheeler today. I'm heading to a spot where the past two years I've picked up good sets out of here. Um, yeah, it's a little different than usual. A lot more snow. So, and none of the fresh snow really melted. So it's going to be interesting. But I'm going to get after it. Uh, hopefully I have a little bit better luck than yesterday, but we'll see. So check back in in a bit. Day number three out here in Utah, and it is about one o'clock. This morning was uh, painstakingly slow. No elk track. So we kind of moved spots a little bit, and man, I haven't gotten more than 200 yards from where, where we left the four-wheeler. Boom, got a last year shed. Looks like a little six-point, or he's missing. Oh, no, there he is. Holy. Wow, look at that. It broke. I've never seen one break right there before. Wow. Heavy shed, but that's insane. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll take it on the board for today. Not skunked. Let's go. Boot tracks everywhere. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Haven't found a thing all day. And boom. Yes. That's a good bull. Man. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, that is just a heavy, heavy bull. Man. Boot tracks everywhere, but maybe that other side's right in here. Whew. Hi. Hi. All right, day four. We're going, you know, after. I hate you guys. All right, it is day four. Trying to spot we tried a couple years ago. 
we pulled up and saw six shed bulls. So there's browns around somewhere. It's just a matter of if those bulls dropped them in here, of course. So we're all split up again, hitting different ridges and we'll see. What day number four? Yeah, day number four. Anyways, I was just hiking on this really rocky knob. Just saw some boot track, but as you know, here in Utah, it's like you walk behind the wrong cedar and you don't miss it. And spotted this one from a distance. Looks like a decent bull. Um, not much on the back end, but a big old third on him. So we'll uh, do a pickup here for you and show, show you what he looks like. On the board for the morning, got another brownie. Got another brownie here in Utah. Let's go. Freaking nice bull. Yeah. Big big swooping third on him. Let's go. Think about that. He's even got a little bit of blood on him. Pretty fresh. Go find its match. We'll just keep working away on this rocky hill and see what we come upon. Definitely up here. Rubbing a lot on this tree. <clears throat> it's blood in these old track. Maybe there'll be a brownie close by. Oh yeah. I'm way up high in this pocket. Basically trying to be where everyone else wouldn't go. Well, just climb up on this rock for fun and a shed. I think it's a hard white. Doesn't look huge, but you drop down and get that. Heck yeah. Finally finally something better than a spike. Very cool. Lots of hard work. We finally finally got a shed. Again. Not a monster. But as I was glassing, he's got some funky stuff going on with the second. Look at that, what is that? Look at that. Whew. Well, not a huge one, but finally good to get a shed. So take a picture and we'll pull them out of here. Okay. Wow. That's a neat shed. He's only a five, right? But look, look at what's going on there. What in the heck happened? It's like, I don't know, he broke it off in velvet and it grew funky or I don't know what's going on there. But that is a cool antler. Oh, it's pretty heavy too. For just being a five. Feels good to finally get something else, but still no luck on the brown, so we're gonna keep going. But whew, two days of basically nothing to finally find a decent shed, so. All right, let's keep gridding. Maybe his other side will be around here. I'm battling a foot injury today, my Achilles. Not sure every time I take a step, every time my foot bends, it just feels like my Achilles is gonna fall apart. So that's kind of fun. Just kind of been hobbling along. Um, might be the last day here for me in Utah. Sucks to get injured like this. It's just frustrating to not be able to do what you want to do and hike where you want to hike. But I had a good run here. We got the trip total here pretty good. we got some pretty big browns in there one set well two sets counting that one but we just really are bad at finding sets it turns out the bulls were just getting pushed around a lot we saw plenty of shed out bulls but just couldn't quite ever capitalize on it so gabe you got anything to add maybe next year i'll have a good year <laughs> <laughs> Gabe's had two pretty dang good years in Utah, so. Yeah, every time I've come to Utah, I've come out with a 350 plus shed. But... Yeah, but, we'll, uh, yeah, next year. Always a good trip down here. Always find some big sheds, so can't complain too much. Dan, you got any words? I'll see you next year. He'll see you. All right. Well, signing off, Utah 2024. We'll be back.